Irena Sabalenka started off 2024 by winning this year's Australian Open. Then Iga Fianta claimed the second major championship of the year by winning the championship at the French Open. What's up, everybody? It's John Eric Paul here to predict the next two major champions here in 2024. We, of course, know how the year got started. I just brought that up in the introduction. Now we go to the next two majors. Going to be a little tough to predict uh, any of these, really, especially with Wimbledon being so close and so many names in play there. But I will say, for a Wimbledon prediction, I really like Irena Sabalenka. I liked her coming into this year, and her game is suited to win this year's Wimbledon Championship. She has the big serve. She has the power game. The quicker surface of the grass surface there at Wimbledon favors the way that Sabalenka wants to play. But here's the big thing with Sabalenka. She's known to blow a lot of big opportunities. And you could document that throughout the course of career. A lot of rough semifinal outings. Or uh, she lost last year's uh, U.S. Open in three sets to Coco Goff. I mean, you can find them all throughout her career, even the way she's playing this year, coming to the French Open, losing early in the quarterfinals to Mira Andreva, you can make so many cases as to, you know, is Sabalenka going to blow it somewhere in this year's Wimbledon Championship? And if that were to happen, a lot of other big names in play there. You have Elena Rabankina, former major champion there, uh, winning that Wimbledon Championship. Anz Jabers, a two-time finalist. You have people like Daniel Collins, a great power game. She's somebody who could absolutely make a deep run into this year's Wimbledon Championship. You may have Iga Sviantek out there, the world number one. I made a video doing a checklist of what Iga's going to have to have go her way to win this year's Wimbledon Championship. But there's a lot of question marks on all that. The familiar safe bet, for me anyway, is to go with Irena Sabalenka to win this year's Wimbledon Championship. Now the U.S. Open later in the year, so many names are going to be at play there. That's so far away. Obviously, you don't have the crystal ball to know who's going to be banged up, who's going to be playing good at that time. But just looking at it from the outside, looking in, being sitting here uh, at the midway point of the year here in June, I'm going to take the safe bet and go with Iga Sviantek. If there's ever a safe button in women's tennis, it's going to say Iga Sviantek on it because Sviantek's the world number one. She's been so dominant throughout the course of this year. She's had a fantastic 2024. So many accomplishments throughout the years, uh, uh, throughout the year here, winning so many WTA 1000 events or going very, very, very far in them. Then, of course, just winning this French Open here. But if it's not going to be Iga, who could it be? You have a lot of names out there. Coco Goff, last year's champion. Uh, there's Sabalenka's out there. Rabankina's out there. Again, Collins is out there. Uh, you can make a case for really so many different people uh, for this year's U.S. Open. But again, safe button is going to be Iga Sviantek. I would really like to see how Naomi Osaka is going to uh, progress throughout the course of this year. Because what we just saw to her in the French Open, given Sviantek that tough match, you'd be very hopeful for Naomi Osaka. And Osaka, for me, is going to be the sleeper in that U.S. Open. Because she's able to keep progressing the way she's doing it. I really think she's going to go very, very, very far in this year's U.S. Open, but the progress is going to have to keep coming on the side there of Naomi Osaka. So far, it's going the way I think it wants to go there for Osaka. If you're Team Osaka, you're going to be very happy the way 2024 is going so far after being off for all of 2023 there. So we'll see how all is going to play out the rest of the year. It's going to be a fun rest of the year. But for me, going to go with Sabalenka and this Wimbledon, at least as of now. We're going to have more uh, tennis being played on grass coming up to this year's Wimbledon. We're obviously eventually going to see what the draw is going to be like for this year's Wimbledon championships. And, you know, we'll have more clarity there. But right now on the outside looking in, going Sabalenka there. And then, of course, going with Iga Sviantek for the U.S. Open, hitting the safe button there with the Sviantek pick.